ain't got nothing to worry about when we truly trust God. That's a powerful thing. Our people think we trust God. Why? Because we got five or six churches right here. We got five or six more down there. Our people don't know God. They don't know God. All three of y'all. Is it true or is it false? Bring it out. Is it true? What are you going to do about it? Now, knowing that it's true, what are you going to do? It's rock. Chapter 32, verse 24. So, because what y'all brother are doing, you probably got what? Teenagers? You probably in your 40s? Something like that, right? So we're trying to show our people how to get right. You think you're right with the Lord? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Probably, probably trying to call somebody DM right now. Watch out. Hey, hey, I'm going to put you on front street, bro. Because listen, I did the same thing, right? So we have to change. We have to change. So watch this. Watch what the Bible tells us that's requiring us to do now. To say that you, you don't believe in Christ, right? But you may have known he was black, but you never was shown in the scripture that he's a black man, right? That's a powerful thing. Now you know who your God is. You know what you're, Now you're going to learn what your God requires out of you, out of all three of us, out of all of us. Let's read this. So, so right, chapter 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord. The Bible says what? He that believeth in the Lord. You believe in the Lord? Let's read. Take it heed to the commandment. What does it mean to take heed to something? What does it mean? You know what it means. You already checked your head like you know what it is. What does it mean to take heed? The young brothers may not know what that word means. That means to listen and obey. To listen and live by and obey. Do we live by the Bible? No. We live by Christianity. We live by Islam. We live by our own rules. The pastors have done us the disservice. Right. They have not shown us how to live by thus saith the Lord. That's why we come out here to show y'all the truth, how to get how to get yourself right. Read it again. He that keep believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the commandment, Read. and he that trusted in him. We have to do what? And trust in him. We gotta trust that the solutions to our people's community, not the south side of town. Not the west side of town, our people's community, whether we in Alabama, whether we in Tulsa, whether we in Georgia, wherever we at, we gotta understand that the solutions for the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans is to what? And he that trusted in him shall fare never the work. We ain't got nothing to worry about when we truly trust God. That's a powerful thing. Our people think we trust God, why? Because we got five or six churches right here. We got five or six more down there. Our people don't know God. They don't know God. Do you understand? So there's a requirement. Keep the commandments. Give me that Deuteronomy 10. Because I'm going to show you a commandment right after this. I guarantee you didn't know. What's the Lord's Sabbath day? Do you go to church? You go to church. What day y'all go to church? Sunday. Is that God's Sabbath? You ever heard the word Sabbath? Is that God's day we're supposed to worship? Let me say it that way. If they say yes. You, you say Saturday. Remember, you've been around a little bit longer than us, right? So we got to let the young brothers know how to get right so we don't see y'all ripping and running or on first 48. Right. We got to get our minds right. right. You understand? And it starts with learning God's requirements for us. Right. You got to drop the BS, drop the nonsense. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Come on. And now Israel, what up the Lord that God? What's your name? Keandre. Kenneth. Kenneth. All right. Bama. Kenneth. Keandre. Kenneth. Uh Read the Bible. It's talking to you. It's not talking to just everybody who want to pick the book up. Right. That's what we've been taught, right? That's a lie. If, if I told you the sky is green and, and the ground is blue, what do you have to do? Is that true? No, you got to look at me like, no, oh, hey, the sky is blue, the ground is green. Right. You have to prove that it's not a lie. I'm showing you what we've been taught out of the Bible is a lie. Right. Read. And now Israel, what up the Lord thy God require of thee? Now you young men of the Lord, read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Knowing you're Israel, what tribe do you come from now? Are you just a nigga? You just African American? You just a black man? No, what tribe you come from now? What tribe? You, the officer just showed you what tribe y'all come from. We not, we gotta know our nationality. What tribe of people we are. So we'll stop shooting each other down in the streets. So we'll stop looking at each other and see a, and see a op. You understand? And see another nigga across the street. He on my corner, he, we on his corner. That's how our people view each other. That's not good. God says we cannot live that way. So I'm showing you, but 
before you leave here, you gotta understand what God requires of you. Right. And again. And now Israel, what does the Lord that God require of thee? God requires something out of all of us. Read. But to fear the Lord that God, Come on. to walk in all his ways, Read. and to love him, Read. and to serve the Lord that God. Do we serve him? You think you say, hey, I go to church on Sunday. Some of us might even got uh, tattoos of Jesus, white man, Jesus cross on our arms, on our bodies, right? We think we serve God. Let's 29 13 real quick. Because our people think we serve God and come back. Read that real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 13. Read. I'm going to show you how we know the Bible's true and the black woman in the Christian church but her loud mouth is a lie. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. God is talking to our people. The black woman, black man, native and Hispanic and Latino man and woman. Read. And with their lips do honor me. Don't we give God the most lip service? Don't grandma love, don't she, she love God? But she don't do nothing God requires. She don't keep no commandments. That's what we've been taught. That's the example we've been given. You know. But have removed their heart far from me. But have what? Have removed their heart far from me. What does that mean that we remove our minds far from God? Now we just go play church on Sunday. We go play church on Sunday. Read. And their fear that again? It's a routine. There is no, they think, oh, I got my personal relationship with God. Right? That's, that's me. I'm showing you it's a lie. Read. And their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. So some of our people, guess what? Now watch this, watch this. Even worse, so not even just in the Christian church. Don't gang members say they believe in Christ? Don't they say they believe in God? They, they toting guns around trying to kill their own brother. Is that Christ's life? Brother, you got a, you got a, a gun on your hood, on your hat. You know that. It's a little oozy, right? But what? Do you think that promotes unity or does it promote violence? Bring it out! It promotes violence, so watch this. I guarantee there's another option for you to wear that does not put you in the classification of another nigga trying to tote around a gun. I guarantee you can change that today. I guarantee you can flip it inside out. I guarantee you can pull your pants up and be a, a right man according to God. 